Didn't the fox ever catch the rabbit, Uncle Remus? asked Johnny one evening. He come mighty near to, honey. He and Briar Bear, un said Uncle Remus. You just sit and listen, and I'll tell you. One day, Briar Bear was walking along near Chickapin Hill at the edge of the big woods carrying his club over his shoulder and a-hoping he'd meet up with Br'er Rabbit, cause he kinda fancied some barbecue rabbit for his dinner. Sure enough, he caught that smart rabbit napping, and he whooped him a good one with his club. Br'er Rabbit saw stars, and next thing he knew, he's in Br'er Fox's cave all tied up on a barbecue spit. Br'er Fox is fixing a big fire, while Br'er Bear is holding Br'er Rabbit and thinking what a good dinner he's going to be. Instead of being scared, Br'er Rabbit starts to laugh real hard. That makes Br'er Fox angry and he says, I's going to roast you on that fire. Is that something to laugh about? But Br'er Rabbit, he just laughs louder and he says, I can't help laughing because I've just been to my laughing place. Well, Br'er Bear, he got a laugh too, and Br'er Fox likewise. What's a laughing place? They want to know. Oh, says Br'er Rabbit, just a secret place I knows about. Where's this laughing place at? Br'er Bear asks. How can I show you when I is all tied up like this? The rabbit answers, very cocky. So the next thing you know, Br'er Bear untie Br'er Rabbit from the spit but keep hold of the rope so he can lead him to the laughing place. It's another one of that rabbit's tricks, says Br'er Fox, but Br'er Bear says, I'm the one that coxed him, and I want to see that laughing place. Br'er Bear, he leads him to a clump of bushes and says, In there. And Br'er Bear and Br'er Fox go in. And when they come running out, they is covered with bees. They don't let go of Br'er Rabbit's rope and they run away. But, Br'er Fox, he yelled, I'll get you for this, you smart alecky rabbit. Br'er Rabbit, he laughed fit to kill. I didn't say it was your laughing place. I said it was my laughing place, Br'er Fox. But Br'er Rabbit worried that Br'er Fox and Br'er Bear, they are sure out to get him this time. He nails up the door of his house in the old briar patch and heads for some new place where there ain't going to be no trouble. And off he hopped down the road, lippity-clippity, clippity-lippity, just as sassy as a jaybird, singing zippity-doo-dah, zippity-day, plenty of sunshine, headed my way. Br'er Fox and Br'er Bear, they angry about being fooled again by Br'er Rabbit. And they goes to work and gets them some tar. They fix up a contraption, what they call a tar baby. And they tuck this here tar baby and sort him in the big road. They didn't have to wait long because bimly along comes Br'er Rabbit. Br'er Fox and Br'er Bear, they lay low. Br'er Rabbit spied a tar baby and jump on his behind legs like he was astonished. The tar baby... He saw it there. Morning, says Br'er Rabbit. Nice weather this morning. Tar Baby ain't saying nothing, and Br'er Fox wink his eyes slow, and Br'er Bear, they both lay low. Oh, I hope he hit him, said Br'er Fox. Br'er Rabbit raised his voice. Is you deaf? Because if you is, I can holler louder, says he. Tar Baby stays still, and Br'er Fox and Br'er Bear, they lay low. Br'er Rabbit loads it up to him to teach the stuck-up stranger some manners, and he says, Look, if hits the last thing I do, I'm going to learn you to talk to respectable folks. If you don't take off that hat and tell me howdy, I'm going to bust you right open, says he. Tar Baby stay still, and Br'er Fox and Br'er Bear they lay low with the fidgets. Br'er Rabbit keep on asking him, and the tar baby keep saying nothing. And finally, Br'er Rabbit draw back with his fists, and blip, he hit the side of the tar baby's head. Right there is where he broke his molasses jug. His fists 
stuck and he can't pull loose. Let go of my fists, he hollered. Elf, you don't let me loose, I'll hit you again. And with that, he fought him a swipe with under his hat. That stuck too. Tar Baby, he ain't saying nothing. And Br'er Fox and Br'er Bear lay low. Then Br'er Rabbit, he hit, kicked, butt with his head until he tarred all over, only his eyes showing. Then Br'er Fox and Br'er Bear, they saunter out whistling and looking innocent. They do a little shuffle and dance. Howdy, Br'er Rabbit, says Br'er Fox. You sure look all stuck up this morning. Then they roll on the ground and laugh. I expect you'll take dinner with us this time. We're going to take no excuses like the last time, says Br'er Bear. Well, I expect I got you this time, Br'er Rabbit, says Br'er Fox. You've been sassing me and tricking me for a long time. Now, dar you is in our, you stay while I sharpen my axe for to skin you. Br'er Rabbit, he's smart, and if he ever gwine to use his head, now's the time to, you, to do it. Skin me, Br'er Fox, says Br'er Rabbit. Snatch out my eyeballs, roast me, but please, Br'er Fox, don't fling me in that briar patch, says he. Br'er Fox and Br'er Bear wants to hurt Br'er Rabbit, Bad as they can. Maybe I'll hang him, says Br'er Fox, if I can find me some string. Hang me if you like, go ahead, but don't throw me in that briar patch, says Br'er Rabbit, looking mighty scared of them sharp thorns and brambles. We wouldn't do that, says Br'er Fox. No, sir, we wouldn't do that, says Br'er Bear, and they caught him by his behind legs and slugged him right into the middle of that Br'er Briar patch. Br'er Rabbit yelled and hollered, there was a flutter of leaves in the bushes, and where Br'er Fox take a peek, there lie poor Br'er Rabbit with a lily on his chest. But he only playing dead. Maybe Br'er Fox and Br'er Bear hear someone jumping round in that briar patch and hopping its way up the hill. Born and bred in the briar patch, Br'er Fox, born and bred in the briar patch, Br'er Rabbit called. And with that, Br'er Rabbit skip off lively as a cricket.